Here's a reaction of a hydrogen oxide, a compound of hydrogen and oxygen. And two moles of that oxide is going to react to release one mole of oxygen gas and leave behind pure water. Based on that information, can you tell me the formula of the hydrogen oxide? Is it A, B, or C? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, HO2 minus has excess oxygen, so it could lose oxygen and leave behind water. B, two moles of H2O2 can release a mole of oxygen and leave behind pure water. Or C, H3O plus contains the most hydrogen, so it can release O2 and still have hydrogen left over to form water. Think about those three and make a selection. When a chemical reaction occurs, the numbers and kinds of atoms have to be conserved. So if I'm going to make H2O2, for instance, into water and oxygen, I have to have enough hydrogens and oxygens to form those molecules. So two moles of H2O2 would contain four hydrogens and four oxygens. That's enough to form an oxygen molecule with two of my oxygens and a water molecule or two water molecules with four of my hydrogens and another two of my oxygens. So 2H2O2 has the appropriate numbers and kinds of uh, atoms to form oxygen and pure water. So these other two, if you do the analysis, don't have the correct numbers and kinds in two moles to form oxygen and water. So the correct answer here is H2O2.